I never thought the day would come that I would personally see a grinder being used on a Mark V Super. Today we're chopping it up and installing this Adro Swan Neck Wing. So we're replacing this stock exhaust on the on the Honda with this NVIDIA exhaust. Delivery! Nothing exciting was delivered. <laughs> <laughs> Most work out here done all he's done all year. But how much better does that look than than that? You think it's gonna sound good? What do you reckon, Richard? <laughs> what is Mingry? Well I'll have to find out soon. Before you start it, uh, I was gonna say we should all play that game. It's like, what do you think it's gonna sound like? Ah, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> what do you reckon? Much better than stock. A lot gruntier. That's for sure. So that is the Honda all done to be sent away. Oh look who's here! How are we going? Hey! Andy is here for something very special on his Mark V Supra. Let's go and take a look at what it is. Alright, so we're finally here. We've got the uh, Adro wing that no. I've uh, ordered. Guess which box it is? I don't know, which one? This one! Why would it be that? It's too small. I think it's that one, right? <laughs> yeah, it's this one. You excited? I'm excited. So excited. So excited. How long have you been waiting for? Months. Months? Nah, just weeks. <laughs> <laughs> just weeks. That's His right. car was in here last week for something else. He's waited five days. Five days. Yeah. You're lucky it was in stock. This stuff usually flies out the door. Yeah, yeah. Last one. Yeah. I think last one till uh, what's the next shipment? Maybe next month. Um, but yeah, leave it with us. We'll get it on the car. And yeah, you cool. can see it when it's done. There you go. Thank you. All right. Take it easy. A few moments later. So we have the Supra ready for the stock wing stock wing to come off to be replaced by this beast of a wing. Look at the size of it. That wing? Well, you usually have to drill a hole in through the boot. You have to cut it. You have to cut the boot. You have to cut the boot. Man, that's getting bloody scary. <laughs> if I this up. <laughs> Good luck to me. You think it's going to be easy, easy install? Yeah, piece of cake. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. <laughs> All that shit out there. God, do we? <laughs> oh my god. Hey, hey, Alex. <laughs> Look how much more shit we gotta cut out. Oh my god. <laughs> Ooh, what is that? Maybe that I'd make it for Australian versions. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, that looks fun. <laughs> Glad I'm not cutting. It's all up to this guy. <laughs> Covered. So we thought that once we remove this piece here, it would just be <clears throat> a hole. Apparently not. 
Note to self, if you're buying the Edro Swanneck Wing for your Mark V Supra, there's a decent amount of cutting and work to do. Julian is doing a ambient install on this Hyundai i30. Nice mate, nice. And Richard is installing bags for Am this I? crown. Install the bags. Doing the, boot setup for the... doing the boot setup for the bags for the crown. Running the power, pretty much grabbing power from the doors. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll start on the door cards, put all the ambient kit in that. And then what I'll do is once I finish all that, bang the doors all back on, uh, door cards back on, and then do the dash. <laughs> See yourself now. Camera. <laughs> wow, look at that. That's. F I can't swear, can I? <laughs> oh, very nice, mate. Very nice. Door cards going back on. Two more to go. Probably just going to run it along here and then on the, other, the, other, on the, on the other side, it'll, it'll go behind the um, behind this head unit. So, pretty much just a, a strip along here at the top. And then I'll probably try and drill one in the cup holder. Okay, yeah, we'll try, we'll try to go somewhere down there. And then just along here as well. I got a Honda Civic in for something. What's the Honda in for? Tail light. Tail light is in here. For the Honda because there is lights in the body and in the boot. The wires have to be run up and through into the boot to the new light up there. Is it working? Oh, so Were they so working fine? So the install on the Civic is all done. We've got the Mugen style uh, dynamic dynamic lights with the dynamic indicators. A little smoked look, much better than the than the OEM OEM lights. We also have the dynamic uh, mirror, mirror indicators as well as the dynamic side markers. Nice little upgrade for the Honda Civic. So for the Toyota Crown, the tank and compressor are now in the back. This, this cover is going on top of here and there will be a plexiglass window with some LED strips so you can see through and see the tank and the compressor. So while Richard decides how he's going to do his lights for the boot setup, Ming is over here. Look <laughs> at the fucking grinder. While Ming continues to hack away at the Supra, I'm gonna go and see what Julian's doing. What's going on, mate? What are we doing? Um, just uh, finishing off the dash, or well, halfway through the dash at the moment, just powering on my modules. And then once I do that, I can stick all my ambient in and um, light it up. And it should be all good to go. Got the compressor running and the back of the crown. How are you going, mate? Yeah, good, mate. All done. All done, yeah, pretty much. Pretty much all done. Oh. So we have the ambient in the front rear doors, cup holders, door door handles, the the dash, um, and the wheels. I think I like the interior of the hatch better than the. So, update with the Supra wing install. Ming has run out of blades after cutting just the one hole. You can see, like, this is my whole hand, how much had to be, how much had to be cut out all the way around. And then what happens next is this goes, this goes something, something like that. And that allows us to fasten the wing through the through the boot. Richard's over there doing the lines for the bags. Now that both the boys 
uh, on the Supra because Julian has finished the ambient kit for the i30 which I will show you later on. So the ambient on the Hyundai is done. Julian is going to give us a rundown. So all done with this kit today. Uh, pretty much just a quick rundown. Uh, door cards, we've put it in three locations. Uh, one at the top, one in the handle, uh, one down at the cup holder. Uh, with the dash, we've gone up top uh, on both sides. Um, and we've also added in a little bit of a bit of a strip there as well and also on the other side as well. Uh, we'll also show you the back as well. Back looks good as well. What do you reckon? Looks nice. Oh it looks pretty good man. The front really pops. Yeah the front looks good. The front looks good on all these see. cars. Looks good. Looks good. App controlled as well. Best thing about this kit is it's all app controlled, so any any colour you want, and also different different modes. So many. Nice. So the i30 is being picked up tomorrow morning, ambient is all done. So I've been told that Andy just got here, um, so I'm going to go grab him from the showroom. Let's just see his reaction on what he thinks of the Adro spoiler. Let's go. Andy, how are you? Good, yourself? Good, good. It's all done. Oh, wow. Excited? Yeah, very excited. Let's go have a look. Orientation. Nice. What's yeah. next? Probably the Adro kit. The whole kit? Yeah, the whole kit. Yeah. Once you start, you can do the whole thing. That's it. You can't just have the wings. You gotta go. Spoiler. Yeah. Side skirts. And I believe they're bringing out a rear diffuser soon as well. So, can't wait to see that. And a wide body kit, actually. Yeah. I've heard they're bringing out a wide body kit. Right. So, let's do that one instead. Okay. Okay. Oh, he said okay. You all heard that. He said okay. <laughs> Wow. Thank you. 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 Thank you.